Today's topic is Foreign Accent Syndrome. Foreign Accent Syndrome is a rare speech disorder that causes a sudden change in speech patterns. An individual suffering from this disorder may develop an immediate change in speech that is perceived as foreign accent, which is usually totally different from their native accent. Foreign Accent Syndrome cases have been recorded around the world, including accent changing from Japanese to Korean, American English to British English, British to Russian, and Spanish to Hungarian. New speech pattern accompanied by the foreign accent syndrome does not sound disordered and remains highly intelligible. Several subtypes of the disorder were identified in 2010. A neurogenic, developmental, psychogenic, and mixed variant was identified. Neurogenic FAS is used to describe an occurrence of the disorder after a damage to the brain. Psychogenic describes FAS that is associated with a psychiatric disorder. Developmental FAS describes a situation where the accent is discerned as from an early age. Causes This disorder can occur following a brain damage or injury that impairs the control of muscles that produces rhythm and melody of speech. The accurate control of the speech articulators, the muscle of the lips, jaw, and tongue, and the voice box are required during speech. If the placement of the articulators is out of line, sounds made during speech will be altered, including rhythm and tone. The most common causes may include stroke, which is the main cause, head trauma, such as a sharp blow to the skull, brain tumor, multiple sclerosis, brain hemorrhage, developmental problems. Symptoms People with foreign accent syndrome may speak in a rhythm and tone, such as changing sound quality by moving the tongue or jaw differently during speech, making longer and lower vowel sounds, such as changing the English word ya yeah to ja, changes in rhythm and pronunciation of speech. Symptoms can last for months, years, or even become permanent. Diagnosis. Since the condition is rare, a team of medical professionals will be needed to evaluate, diagnose, and treat a suspected case of FAS. They may include a psychologist, speech-language pathologist, neurologist, and neuropsychologist. You may need to answer questions about your symptoms and medical history. A physical examination will be carried out, paying more attention to the muscles used in speech. To rule out psychological conditions, a psychological evaluation may be needed. In order to identify comorbid disorder that often co-occurs with FAS, tests to assess reading, writing, and language comprehension may be needed. A recording may also be used to analyze speech patterns. Images of your brain will be taken to see if there is any damage in the area that controls speech. These images are taken with MRI, CT, or SPECT, or Single Photon Emission Computed Tomography, scans. The electrical activity of the brain may also be measured during an electroencephalogram, or EEG. EEG can also be performed to check disturbances at the electrophysiological level. Treatment. Treatment option may include speech therapy and counseling. Speech therapy aims at teaching you how to move your lips and jaw during speech. Counseling can help you learn how to better cope with the condition. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.